Kevin Durant has announced that he is going to join the Golden State Warriors next year. What's going on y'all? This is Five Sports Top back at it with another video. And I'm sure you've all heard the news by now. And so the first question that probably popped up when you heard the news is how the hell can the Warriors afford Kevin Durant? The Warriors, the team with the best record in the NBA, 73 wins, best regular season record of all time. The team that went to the finals and lost in game seven, that team... How can they afford Kevin Durant? Well, I'm here to answer that question for you right now. Um, but before I get started, I do want to put a disclaimer on this is not going to be super duper detailed technical with the cap and everything. I don't want to confuse you guys. So if you're an NBA expert and you already know that, good for you. And I can't explain all the actual cap ramifications. I'm just going to simplify down for the average NBA fan, the casual NBA fan. And basically lay it out for you guys. So with that being said, let's get started. So on the board here, I know you guys see a lot of things, but I'll explain each thing um, one by one so you guys don't get confused. Now we'll start all the way to the left, and I'm looking at the Warriors' current roster. And when I say current, I mean all the players that are currently under contract for this upcoming year. So you've still got, you know, Clay, Draymond, Steph Curry, all the big guns. Then you have Bogut, Livingston, and a bunch of no-names. So that's their Warriors roster for next year, all under contract. Um, now you look at the free agents that the Warriors have this year. They have quite a lot, which works out well for them. You got uh, Harrison Barnes, Maurice Spates, Vessa Zeely, Leandro Barbosa. These guys were big contributors for them, but they're all free agents. And guess what? In order to have Kevin Durant on the team, you got to let them all go. So they are probably all, not probably, they will not be re-signed by the Warriors especially Harrison Barnes, who is going to get a max deal from the Dallas Mavericks, as that is what I heard reportedly. Um, and then another key thing to note here is Andrew Bogut. You see him on the roster. Now, Bogut is due $12.6 million in salary next year. That's not going to work out. You need to get rid of Bogut in order to bring in KD on board. So guess what, Andrew Bogut, you're gone. So then you're down to... Your roster with Clay, Draymond, Steph, and a bunch of no names, but I will get to that. Now, it's important to note here the salary cap. All these NBA players are getting paid left and right. How is that possible? That's how it's possible. The salary cap went up to $94 million this year. It was at $70 million last year. Now, if you don't know what the salary cap is, it's the amount that a team, the maximum amount a team can spend on all its players. So it's set at $94 million this year. If the Warriors let go of all their free agents and trade Andrew Bogut, they will have a cap of $65 million. What does that mean? You do the simple math, 94 minus 65, they have $29 million in cap space. And what does that even mean? Well, we come down here, and I'm going to break down the final roster for the Warriors. You'll have your big guns. Like I said, they can still have Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Steph Curry, even Iguodala and Sean Livingston, which is what makes this even more scary. Then you've got, again, your you know no names and the scrub players. Then you've got a room exception, which a league allows you to have, um, even if you're over the cap. And then you've got three minimum slots. Basically, the Warriors have to sign minimum players to fill out their roster. Any team, no matter what salary cap situation they are, can sign minimum players. Oh, and I'm forgetting they're adding Kevin Durant. So there is their final roster, and that is what it will look like. KD going to fit nicely into the salary cap because he's going to demand the max. He's going to sign the one plus one for approximately $53 million. Works out to about $27, $28 million per year, something like that, the max, maybe $26. Um, but he can opt out after next year. He can be a free agent. So this is going to be the Warriors' final roster next year. Again, these names will be filled out, but this is how the Warriors can afford to have Kevin Durant on the team. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope you 